Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your reading for the 16th to the 22nd of January. Thanks so much for being here, really do appreciate that. Um, we've got a five card read, present position, present, situ present situation, present expectation, unexpected, short term future, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, long term future, next one to three weeks. Energy on the bottom is the Queen of Swords, this is... You can see on the card there, she's actually impaled one sword right through her hand. She's holding one and she's impaled the other. So it's just gone straight through there. This is a woman who knows the power of words. She knows about being truthful and honest and how sometimes, you know, the, the truth can cut both ways. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. And she has um, loved and lost. She's prepared to go through it all again. She's prepared to put herself through the ringer. So it's a real determined energy this week that you've got Sagittarius. You know, roll your sleeves up and get on with it. So your present position is the hermit. This this guy here is, is sort of, you know, he's looking at you and going, what are you doing here? You see the little gold brooch there? That's his inner understanding on display. What, what the hermit does is kind of there's an introspection you know normally people always think it is taro telling me the future no that's not possible because i'd ask it for the lottery numbers and i wouldn't be here next week i'd be sitting on a beach earning 20 percent name the film um so it doesn't do that what it does i think is it it kind of opens the doors in your own head you know sometimes you go i don't want to open that door i know what's behind there and other times you go i have no idea what's behind this door and it just gives you the confidence to go do you know what do you want to think about this do you want to think about this situation and see what's really going on so that's what's happening here you're you're taking some downtime to really kind of internalize and just think about the situation think about what's happening this week and what's happening this week your present expectation is it's time to focus on your dreams and your 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 hopes, promises, dreams, the, the sort of the closest held dream that you've got, you know. So if you want the house in the country, this is it, you know. The, and, and you're watering these dreams with with focus and intent and, and starting the process. There's a message coming through. The, the dove's wearing a crown, so it's an important message. And it's it's to do with the heart or it's to do with love or relationships. It's not a work message, this. So what I would say is this is a new start. It is, it's almost like in a new year you've gone, you know what, this is the year that I want this to happen. Yeah, so you, you're making a commitment to yourself. So you've thought about it, you're making a commitment to yourself of what is it you want this year or, you know, and it starts this week. In the unexpected, you've got the High Priestess, which is a really nice card. The unexpected, because if there's anything, it is... Um, I'm trying to think what the one word is I use of the High Priestess. Intuition. Yeah, so if someone says, describe this card in one word, I would say intuition. The spot varnish in the background there, isn't that gorgeous? That's the Mariana Trench, the deepest place on Earth, six miles down. Of course, you know, it wasn't that long ago we said, well, there's nothing that lives down at the bottom of the ocean and of course when we managed to build the technology to go down there with a camera there's loads of things living down there things we've never ever seen before um and it, it, it's just incredible how little we know you know and how much we think we know this is a card of 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 divination of the subconscious of the occult of the mysteries really she sat on a crescent moon she is it's a card of stillness so it ties in really nicely with the high priest uh, with the hermit um, she's got a pomegranate which is the fruit of the underworld so she's prepared to kind of go behind the veil to go to some dark places to kind of really understand what's going on she's got the key she's she can unlock any door that she comes to and she's got the dowsing pendulum to sort of um, uh, guide her way you know so she's not doing this blindly she has all the tools at her disposal but it is sometimes quite frightening you know it's, it's a bit like walking into a a dark room and fumbling around for the light switch you know there's a light switch in there you know you could trip over but you're not going to fall in a hole but it's still quite scary your reptilian brain's going i don't know why we're in this dark space can we not go in there you know and and you're committing to that process it was really nice to see and it is because the resolution here is fantastic we've got the king of wands which is uh i would say the king of confidence you know he is inspiring he's commanding he's he's the, the leadership skills are front and center um again 
anything that's kind of unclothed in the taro is authentic and honest got nothing to hide he is what he is he's bestowing a little blessing on you as well this is the universe going you're on the right path you're doing the right thing because it is quite scary the high priestess energy and again particularly in the unexpected position but you you know am i doing the right thing yes i am in the cold light of day you know you've got this sort of steel-hearted energy you've got this inspiring courageous energy and you've got this understanding You've got an understanding about what it is that you want. You know, you really, really want this, whatever this thing is. And then we end up with the chariot, which is success, victory, and a victory of your own making. You know, you're determined to... Um, what's the word? You're determined to get to the finish line, you know, and this is how you do it. In a more traditional ride away deck, there are two sphinxes tied to a chariot, and they look like they're going to go in separate directions. And you're the charioteer, so you're steering them together. You know, you're aligning, you know, heart and mind of your own heart and mind. You, you're sort of bringing everything together. There's a real sense this week you're bringing everything together. Love to see that. So, yeah, it's all coming together. Yeah, what a great place to have the hermit and the hanged one. The hanged one, this is about hanging yourself from the tree of knowledge to see the bigger picture, to see it in a different light, see someone else's perspective, which is really powerful as well. That's a really powerful attitude to have. Uh, on top of the Ace of Cups, you've got the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is a card of completion. It's happy family home. It's the rainbow. It is a card of joyful satisfaction, a card of celebration. Could be a card of... Um, uh, motherhood or a card of uh, proposal or a wedding or a marriage you know but it's that joyful celebration everything's like yeah this is working really really well on top of the high priestess you've got the celebration of the three of pentacles the easiest way to describe this card is um i know i was thinking of the three of cups the three of pentacles this is a card of uh craftsmanship and of being seen and a card of synergy you know, in a again in a more traditional ride away, but let's do it with this card. Someone's asked for a pergola, um, and someone wants to grow grapes on it, and then someone has done what they wanted them to do. So you've got the synergy. So in a more traditional ride away, it's a church that's being built. So you've got the architect, the monk, and the stonemason, and all those three again in exactly what they want. The architect's his dream is coming true. The monk is getting the church that he wants and the stonemason is getting a job for life and he's doing something. Everyone's going, wow, this is amazing. So it's kind of being seen. It's kind of synergy. It's a card of one plus one making three. Yeah, It's a great, great card, particularly in the unexpected. So all that kind of introspection and going into your subconscious to find the solution, you find the solution. Yeah. Eight of Wands, on top of this confident, inspiring king, we have... Um, the communication card something's going to happen it's going to happen fast um it's going to be obvious as well i don't feel that this is going to be lost in the mix because it's the only card that's got that it's nice to see as well because the, the hanged one is a brilliant card by the way but it's quite stagnant um, along with the hermit they're both quite tar pit kind of cards they're, they're wait and see wait and see wait and see and then you've got this lovely i say i'm not prepared to wait and see it's all started moving again which is really nice and then you've got the strength card on top of the chariot. So you've got the strength that you need to get the victory that you want. What a great title. The strength you need for the victory you want. Sagittarius, always, always a pleasure. I will see you next week for more of the same. Take care.